Pete here with the Small Business Resource Center and PeteGustis.com. As a small business owner and a real estate agent, of course, I've been drastically affected by the lockdown. Um, if you saw my other videos, I traveled from coast to coast. And, you know, my opinion, this is drastically overinflated. Uh, but what I'm going to show you here, this article, I'll have a link to, but it says America needs five week national lockdown. That's USA Today. Um, I believe that article was from yesterday. They do something with their screen that it doesn't totally allow me to record it right. <laughs> it actually blocks out my face and it says you can't record this. So, but regardless, I'm going to have a link to that. It's kind of funny because it's March 22nd right now. Five weeks brings us into May. Um, so I'm going to give you my opinion and ideas. I honestly want to say there's not really a problem despite this coronavirus thing, but just watch the video. Um, <clears throat> coronavirus deaths is lower than the World Health Organization estimates. It was estimated before this started and while it was going on, there's about a 2% chance of death. And then of course, estimates rose up closer to four. And now it, um, <laughs> the short story here is they say it's actually 1.4% is the overall calculated rate. Um, the other thing I want to keep in mind is the DOJ. They're trying to suspend uh, typical rights, basically, and some people say it's Trump, but um, <clears throat> typical rights, I think Trump could actually just mandate this, but the, suspend the rights so they can just arrest anyone and put them in jail without any trial. Um, it doesn't like the, look like this is going to happen according to this article. Link will be in the description. Um, the reason why I think that there's going to be no problems or, you know, is the fact that L.A. County gives up containing COVID-19, tells doctors to skip testing. Um, so apparently this is on the 21st. Keep in mind, 21st, 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 coincidentally. They're skipping testing in L.A., but you got to look at this. How many people who have a headache, a cough? I have seasonal coughs. It happens to me. I think it's allergies. I know hay, uh, maybe pollen or something. You know, when it when the seasons change, I typically get a, a dry cough. It just happens, but <laughs> like I have right now, um, drinking fluids helps me. Um, the other thing that I want to make note this also updated March 21st. A deadly pandemic wasn't enough for asteroids approaching Earth, says NASA. So let's check out this video. Ooh. Okay, in 1987, an asteroid was discovered, uh, which is potentially hazardous. Basically, it's 4.1 kilometers. And it's going at a speed of 8.7 kilometers per second. So that's obviously pretty quick. Um, it's actually heading towards Earth. And according to the astronomers, <clears throat> there's a 1 in 50,000 chance every single year that an asteroid just like this would hit Earth. Keep in mind, there's four of them. <laughs> And if you also want to keep in mind the trajectory of asteroids like this, they're not straight lines. They kind of curve. Um, different things could cause them to go left or right. They don't typically turn 90 degrees, but weird things have happened. Let's just say a month ago, they didn't know exactly if this thing would hit Earth, but they know it's coming very close. Uh, this video says that they don't expect it. Um, it it'll make a close approach, but it will not hit. And you have to keep in mind, asteroids hit the Earth all the time. They're just usually not big. So this is supposed to miss by 3.9 million miles. An asteroid measuring 4 kilometers in diameter will be approaching Earth April 29th. Coincidentally, this brings us into May, the deadline they're giving us. And it has the capacity to end human civilization. It's being monitored closely by NASA. And the last time um, this happened, you get you get about a month warning. Hint, hint. <clears throat> that's 
that it's passed close to the earth. Okay, typically these things pass by, and you want to keep in mind, similar videos talked about this since 87, and there were some posted online, but a lot of people forgot about this. This stuff is really not in the news. And there's actually four, four of them, if you saw from the other video, similar, similar size. Well, the first one actually passed. Of course, nothing happened. Nowhere to be found. And once again, it notes that this is a common thing that happens all the time. So, is this credible? I think it is. Maybe you should research this. Do you think a little disease that has a 2% chance of killing people or less is a problem? Or seems like this five-week quarantine brings us into me. <laughs> I don't know. You be the judge. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Pete Custis, smallbusinessresourcecenter.com. Have a great day.